So you're starting to tap this whole other realm, this whole other dimension that exists in the invisible. These teachers of the teachers do not have bodies. And so you're in a place where you're connecting with them very substantially, but it's not a tangible physical world. What are some signs that I am nearing the oasis of stage four, the settling down? This is all individual for everyone, but a, a way that you know that you're nearing stage four is that you're capable of, of being in meditation without feeling antsy and as though your mind is wandering, you're starting to come to a place where you're abiding in stillness and you're feeling as though um, silence speaks profoundly, speaks to your heart. Your heart is open and receptive. That big dish of an antenna is there to bring in the divine and it's coming in, it's bypassing your mind. You're not allowing your mind or your ego to be all important anymore. You're allowing this sense of emptiness to come over you that lo and behold, on the other side, you discover is actually fullness. Fullness of what appeared before to not even be real or, or there because it's in the invisible. So you're starting to tap this whole other realm, this whole other dimension that exists in the invisible. These teachers of the teachers do not have bodies. And so you're in a place where you're connecting with them very substantially, but it's not a tangible physical world. And I would say that you're capable of spending a lot more time alone in this place without having to have any validation. You know, you start to enter the world of knowing that this is real even without any outside validation, that's when you know you're starting to connect to the true self of you. Then you're listening and you're feeling and you're hearing that you're being guided. And it feels more like you're um, floating downstream on a you know, river rafting expedition, but you've got this amazing guide. And yet they're so amazing that they're kind of guiding things without you even knowing that you're, you're being guided or that things are being moved by this guide. And it's so captivating. And not only that, if you've ever been in a jungle or a forest with a naturalist compared to going alone when you're missing everything, and then the naturalist is like, oh, well, look over there, there's a sloth or there's a baboon or there's, and, and you would never have seen it. This is what it's like that you're in the arms of the divine that's, that's captivatingly adept at seeing more for you, feeling more for you, being more for you. And, and you're not afraid of it and you love it and you're along for the ride. That's how you know you're, you're getting close to stage four because there's an unquantifiable experience going on that you're all in, that you are ready and willing and able to jump in with both feet, even though you don't know what it is, you love it. Really great question. So I hope that that lets you have a little bit more understanding that you're going to move into something that you've never experienced before. The other thing that you'll be experiencing is that you have a great need, inner need, imperative, and capacity to forgive. Because you realize you're starting to get very savvy and you're onto the ego. You realize that when you let go of the things that the ego has been telling you are all important, like your reputation or your, your stuff or your things that make you all important. And you start to go into a place where you know, one for all and all for one, naturally. And you feel like if it's win-win, then I, I feel like I'm drawn to it and, and it feels right to me. 
when you start to move away from the ego willingly, and then you forgive everything that you've had as an obstacle to love's presence, now you're walking yourself up to the door. Now you're walking yourself up to the gate of heaven. You've got the key, it's forgiveness. Forgive everything that's an obstacle to love's presence. You never need to be right to be happy. You just let yourself surrender to love. And then you're at the door, you've got the key, but you will be carried over the threshold. You can't walk your way into heaven. You'll be carried. 